Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with spheres and of course that can be a snowball or that could be the whole galaxy expanding. What we know here is that the radius at this moment is 10 centimeters, that's of course not the galaxy, and the rate of change of the, of the radius is 2 centimeters per second, so the radius is becoming larger. And we're trying to find the rate of change of the volume per unit time at the moment that the radius is 10 centimeters. So this really applies to any sphere. What we need first is the equation for the volume of a sphere, and the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So now we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of both sides, which gives us dv dt is equal to 4 thirds pi times the d dt of r cubed, since 4 thirds and pi, of course, are constants. And when we take the derivative of that, we get dv dt is equal to 4 thirds pi times 3 r squared dr dt. All right, now since we're looking for dv dt, we already have the equation in the correct format. We can, of course, simplify this by getting rid of that 3, getting rid of that 3. And uh, then we plug in everything we know. So this is equal to 4 times pi times r squared, which is 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters squared, and then the r dt, which was given to us as 2 centimeters per second. Then we need a calculator. So we get 100 times 4 times pi and times 2, and that gives us, hmm, where's that decimal place? There it is. So that's equal to approximately 2,500 cubic centimeters per second. So that's how we can tell the change of rate of the volume with respect to time if we're given the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. And that's how it's done.